Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss chapter 2, which is the systematic literature review chapter. This is from my student's thesis who graduated this year. I will explain how this chapter is written so that you can understand how to write the systematic literature review chapter of your thesis. Watch the video and learn the process of crafting a comprehensive literature review for your academic success. So let's begin. So first of all, I want to talk about the structure of the literature review chapter. So like I mentioned, sometimes um, thesis talks a lot about background and introduction. So within the literature, there is a section on introduction, uh, introducing blockchain technology, providing some definitions. So basically explaining uh, the background of this technology. Uh, then we go on to review specific technology applications. So how is blockchain used in finance, in healthcare, uh, in other, uh, other sectors? Then we come to review of blockchain technology in food supply chain. So this is where the actual uh, systematic literature review uh, methodology is being applied. So there are some prior reviews I can. So if I'm in this field, I also want to know what are some of the uh, recent uh, papers, uh, recent reviews that have been uh, published. So I can jump here to prior reviews. And I can see there is a table here that shows uh, quite a few existing reviews um, and the aims. What, what did that particular review article talk about? So for example, this was to review the application of blockchain uh, in agribusiness, or this goal was to examine how blockchain technology and information or ICT have been used in agriculture. So different, uh, <clears throat> uh, different, uh, reviews. Then we look at the methodology and I can see here that uh, this thesis follows Prisma for systematic literature reviews. Uh, these are some of the keywords that they have used. So if you are in this research area, one thing that you can do is you can copy this uh, list of keywords because if you are going to extend this research further, uh, you need to be using those keywords that have been used in the a literature so like uh, this example here uh, if you want to know what was the inclusion and exclusion criteria uh, they have used uh, you can check this table so this way uh, quality assessment uh, how did they do what was the quality assessment approach they used how many results they got this is the typical uh, figure that you would see in any slr uh, document and then it starts with the analysis of the uh, results uh, so here you can see analysis of results is done based upon various things, impact of blockchain, challenges of blockchain, theoretical frameworks, uh, limitations of the review and review summary. The review summary would be something uh, important for you uh, to, to review when you are uh, reading the thesis because that will give you the, the whole uh, um, the overall finding of the of the literature okay another thing that is uh, relevant here and i get my students to do it is to write the future research directions because this is important uh, especially for uh, students who are going to start their uh, thesis or their research now they would want to know what do experts uh, in the field suggest as the future uh, directions of research. So having this section is also important because it kind of validates uh, your research direction. So imagine you are writing your research proposal and you, you are pr proposing to uh, conduct a research, conduct a, or you have identified a research question. If you can back that up, that so-and-so thesis or so-and-so research paper mentioned that this was one of the important research that needs to be undertaken then you kind of back yourself your um, uh, your research that way so that way it's very important 